Hey everybody, this is Lainey, and this is going to be a video about um, my tongue piercing. I've had it since May the 13th. Um, and let me just tell you, this is probably one of the easiest healing piercings I've ever had in all my days. Um, it healed in a week, but I did not change my barbell till two weeks. I got it done at Vintage Tattoos, Vintage Tattoo Company in Starkville, Mississippi. Um, he's done my, I don't have any of my other piercings, he's done my um, ear, my industrial piercing, he did my cheek piercings when I had them. He's done my um, Christina piercing. He did my tongue. I feel like he did one. Anyway, um, I'm thinking of my tattoo is a piercing. That's why. Um, so, when I got it done, I got it done on kind of a whim. And it was one piercing I promised my mother I would never get. Um, I was pierced with a, I think they pierced me with three fours. The three fours, fourteen gauge, five mil, five mil barbell, the usual. Um, and so of course it's too long, so I put in a nine sixteenths, and. Then once I got some money, I put in um, a five eighths. What I found out was this right in my mouth is a nine sixteenths. It's too long. I can tell because it always hits like it always hits like my teeth. It doesn't really bother me. Too much but I know I'm gonna have to go down to like a half inch and I think my tongue is just really small it's just really thin I'm guessing um I have a little bit of a speech impediment my tongue swole um, it was the usual my dumb tail so the first day I get it I didn't eat before I was super hungry. Like, I could have passed out. I was so hungry. But just like my cheek piercings, like, my cheek piercings, I ate a hamburger the day of getting them done. So, I just, I knew that I was going to have to train myself to eat anyway. So, my friend, she made me crab Alfredo pasta with um, asparagus, which... There's like nine things. First of all, they tell you not to eat anything milk-based because um, you can give yourself a yeast infection and infect your tongue. So I ate that like literally four hours after I got my tongue pierced. Um, they tell you not to eat anything spicy because again, it can mess up your tongue. Don't eat noodles because it can mess up your tongue. Like everything in that thing was not what I was supposed to eat. Um, I'm supposed to eat nothing, like practically just jello and so I ate it I was fine I had to really just learn how not to bite my tongue and you can tell it's a shorter barbell um, so I could tell after a week that that barbell in my mouth was just way too long and so he told me you can take it out but I would really wait until week two so that's what I did I waited till week two because I did not feel like getting an infection because I had a friend he's had his tongue pierced like five times mind you four of those times were unprofessional um and the fifth time was finally professional and he said um and he said um don't like a lot of stuff oh yeah I changed my I changed my um I 
did with Kinky Nikki for Love Her. She, um, she's a girl on YouTube that has a video of the bad infected industrial. Um, she does a lot of piercing videos. Anyway, she says go shopping. And so I bought mouthwash. Um, I bought a new toothbrush. And I just threw the other one out because I did not want to get about sea salt and well I already had sea salt because I always have sea salt on me um and didn't have to buy the water because duh anyway um and that's actually the same day I became pescatarian so for me with piercings I'm really rough with piercings like and I realize that I basically put them through training because I baby them in the sense of I clean them a lot, but I put them through like they're in the army or something, like they're going through the army. I put them through training so they can get used to like, I don't know, I'm really rough, like, um, like I just, I just put them through a lot so my body can get used to having them in there right now I'm working on getting my septum pierced I really want to get my septum pierced just because I want to wear a hoop that's the only reason I want to wear a hoop anyway um sidebar um I'm really gonna have to go down to a half inch because it could it hit it hits the bottom of my mouth and it doesn't necessarily bother the top of my mouth like it used to but it it hurts it like bothers it enough to where I know that the barbell is too long so I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you what my tongue looks like without you know the barbell in there Bottom game off. Wow. It feels weird not to have it in. Yeah, have an indent. You're gonna have an indent. Like, I don't know how to explain anything. You're not gonna have an indent. Um. It's just where the ball sits in that one place because you're going to have your tongue resting in your mouth, resting in your mouth and um, drink lots of water. That's another thing. Drink lots of water, people. Because, and I know that I cannot get this thing back on. I'm trying to unscrew the top so I can, I try not to have this one out for too long. And please don't mess up those threads. And I have internally threaded, which means I try to get stuff like this for my tongue. being confident today. We are going to get this together. Hell yeah. Anyway, it's internally threaded. That was not pierced with this barbell, of course. It's at a 9 16 because I walked.
And my piercer, he always says, you know, randomly check. After I eat noodles, I always, always check if any of the balls are spun off. Because one time, actually one time, I bit off. That's when I had a plastic ball on there. That's when I was at 5 8 and I had a plastic ball on my um, barbell. I bit off the top ball. And thank the Lord, I was traveling with like 10 billion other barbells, so that was good. Um, but, what else can I say? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, so, like I said, I, at one point, during camp, I was at a Christian camp, and I wanted to be mindful of people who didn't necessarily like piercing but I did not want to lose my piercing and I didn't have time to order like something special and I knew Bioflex already didn't work for me because I'm too rough with my piercings so like I said um but I had a 5 8 barbell and I had some pink balls and so I took the pink balls and I put them on the barbell and all that and so I guess I had them on there too long and I didn't clean them um, it got plaque on it and it infected my tongue and so all I basically had to do was clean my barbell and so again thank the lord I had um replacement so I got into my little private corner and I replaced my barbell and it was the last two days of camp so no one really noticed um but if you let plaque build up on your piercing, on your barbell, it can infect your piercing. And people who have even had their piercing for like five, six, you know, X amount of years, um, it messes up their piercing so bad they can't have it anymore. So clean your barbell. Clean it with alcohol and all kinds of good stuff. Because you don't want to lose your piercing. Because I spent... It wasn't 50. I have to. I think it was 45, maybe, on my piercing. But either way, you don't want to lose it. Um, what else? I'm giving you all and nothing all at the same time. I don't know why. Um. Yeah, I can feel this rubbing, and I just, I really wish I had a half-inch barbell. Because I just, I just don't like how this rubs. I just, I just don't like how it rubs. It rubs the crap out of the, out of my bottom plate. Um, which is extremely short for a tongue piercing, but... Again, 5 8 is just a average um, size down barbell of what you're supposed to get when you have a tongue piercing on 5 5 8. I used to get bad headaches with a 5 8 now. And now my headaches are back and I need to shorten that barbell. So that's what's happening. Um, cause the headaches are like starting from down here. It's starting from my neck. Sorry, you just got a shot of all my hair. Um, mine is kind of leaning that away. Not too bad that away, but that away because of the part in the middle of my tongue. Um, I don't know what else to say, so I'm going to end this video. Bye, y'all.